What yes. makes the leader the leader? One more time. What makes the leader the leader? I would I would say when when your subordinates or your team is willing to follow you, you know, I the reason I wrote the book is is because I've been in so many different uh, um, on so many different teams because eventually I did play professional football, as you know. Uh, I was in the military and now I am in Hollywood. And 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 one of the things I began to see was their difference in the um, in the priorities. In the military, it's mission, people, and then myself. So as a sergeant major and a general and an admiral, we eat last. Mm. Well, in other in other places of corporate America and professional football, it's myself, the mission, then people. That's why you can't get loyalty from people. I'm often asked that question: How do you get a soldier to charge the hill when when the enemy had had a bigger gun and higher elevation? Well, it's out of the loyalty. When you make when you when you make your people understand that you care about their life and their families just as much as they do, they will follow you and allow you to lead them uh, to success. Mm -hmm. That's rich. That's rich. There are a lot of people watching tonight that need to hear what you just said, that what makes you the leader is your capacity, or people rather will follow you when you show a concern about them and not yes. just about your ambition, your goals, and what it is you're trying to. That to me is rich. It's rich on so many levels. So since I got you here. Can I say, so can I say something, Dr. Shum? Can I add something? Yeah. Um, what, what I'm finding true uh, is most leaders that I'm running into today they're thinking because they got that promotion as a senior vice president or vice president or a sergeant major or admiral that 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 pay raise or that promotion is for them. I disagree. That pay raise and that promotion is extra so you can pour your knowledge and information into your people. Mm. It's not for you to go out and buy your beach house. Sure, you can, but you're getting extra so you can give extra to more people. It's about that. I was taught. If you climb up to the top and you look left and look right, if you're by yourself, you did it wrong. You got to bring people with you. Each, each, you know, you know that you know what they say. Reach one, teach one. <laughs> first of all, first of all, you can't just drop stuff like that and then you know act like you ain't said nothing. Because <laughs> what, what you just said was so good. If you get to the top and you look to the left and to the right, and if you're the only one standing there, you did it wrong. Yes. That, yes it, that, that is so counterintuitive to what so many people think leadership is. A lot of people think leadership is as long as I get there, what I want, my desire, my goal. We have so much ambition, especially in Los Angeles and in the entertainment world. You know, well, in every position, really, every, every right. industry. Ambition, ambition, ambition. But your leadership instruction, your leadership wisdom to us is to build relationships, to build teams, to be to be empathetic and to care about other people, right? Absolutely, absolutely. You you can you can get there faster if you're alone, but you can go farther together. Mm. Absolutely.